Ola was rescued around three days old and Ozzy was a little bit older, he was a couple of weeks old. Uh, but at that age, unfortunately, uh, it's not usually feasible to release them back into the wild because they don't really know how to behave like wild otters. But we're hoping that they will capture people's hearts as much as they have ours uh, and that they will help to educate people about the sort of conservation issues that sea otters face in the wild. The actual transport logistics were incredibly complex and it involved planes, trains, automobiles, everything. It started off in Alaska um, with a small private plane, a little Cessna which flew them up from the site to the main international airport where they get seen by a vet and signed off onto a luxury private jet which flew directly to Heathrow, which is eight hours. And then we, we had the road transport to here which involved a police escort to get us through the traffic. One of the requirements was they're transported from their original pool to this destination pool in under 18 hours which to get them four and a half thousand miles is a global effort and it was incredible. We did it in 17 hours and, and they arrived in, in great condition, so we're really pleased. The world's oceans are in trouble and we need people to support, which is the whole point of us doing this, is that we, we want guests to come here, engage with these incredible animals and then help us to help them and support them in the wild. I've never worked with animals that are quite like sea otters. They have so much personality, so much character, and they're just really engaged, they're incredible to work with.